Hello again. In this video, I'm going to be looking at making a box. Recently, I've been doing a lot of viewing of some great Aussie makers, from Dana May to Fix It Fingers, uh, right through to Dash and his boxes. Uh, Dash is holding a challenge about making a box. I've never made one, something I've always wanted to do. This is just the sort of motivation I need. So I've dug out some small bits of pallet wood, table saws ready, planer, I've got a chop saw on the other side. What's the worst that could happen, other than it not being square? Let's see how this goes. So what I want to do first is I need to glue all these boards together so I can then put them through a table saw and get them down to the nice thin strips that I can use as the sides. So I'm going to have to spend a little bit of time just putting them through the thicknesser and trying to get a couple of nice smooth edges. And this is what I'm left with. A group of boards that when squeezed together sit relatively flat to each other new glue spreader okay it's not really new i've just taken out of the wife's baking supplies she won't notice So there we are, we're out of the clamps now. We've got a solid block of wood. It's looking fairly tight. Everything needs squaring off. The plan now is to take this down the table saw, just get a nice square edge down here first. Then I'm gonna rip four equal lengths. That should give me four sides of my box. I can then look at what I might do. It's not going well. I've managed to get out all four pieces, but if you look, you can see some of these cut marks and look where they go across. They come out halfway across my piece. It's going to leave it a lot smaller than I want. I, I didn't really want to make a ring box, but that's about where I'm heading at this rate. Um, the technical Yorkshire term for this is that this is fucked. So I'm going to have to go back to the drawing board tonight with a cup of tea and figure out whether I can salvage out from this or whether I'm going to have to start again. Right, so we're back in the shop. It's been about three days. I've stopped sulking and come up with a new idea. Let's see if that one works. If not, this is going to end up being one hell of a long video if I have to do it three times. Well, today's not going to plan. I've been in the workshop for all the five minutes and I've snapped the drive belt thingamabob that runs the blades on the planer. I'm not happy. And I don't know where to get one from. So I'm gonna to have to try and figure that one out. Right, so so far this ain't going well. I've messed up my cuts on my first attempt. I broke my planer on my second. Third time lucky. Let's hope I don't bugger it up. So now I'm going to change my approach, I'm taking two simple pieces, I'm going to glue them together. First of all, it's onto the planer to try and get it squared all round. I'm happy with how this has come out, it's nice and square. So it's onto adding some glue and getting the pieces clamped up so I've got a nice big surface area to work with. And there we go now, it's the next day. Not a bad join, isn't that? Just needs another time or two back through the thicknesser. Just make sure everything's nice and uniform and neat. Now that I've planed it once more, it's on to sanding. I always like to draw a squiggly line so I know just how far along I am with my sanding. Keeps everything nice and even. There's some small minor imperfections on this piece. So I'm just going to fill them in around this knot with a bit of CA glue. I love the sound the activator makes. Not so much the sander though, so I've turned volume down. Right, we're getting there now. 
this is just a dry fit all together. I've snuck up an all my cuts so it should fit nicely. I know there's a little bit of tear out there, but I can honestly say I've never got something to fit so well with such small cuts just by sneaking up. Everything's square. I've never had anything that's been 100% square. I'm absolutely made up with this. Now it's time to move on to gluing and clamping. Before I end up with all my clamps on there, I end up with how this uh, check square, check square, put the lid on, every clamp I own now. Now it's time to cut down to the final dimensions, because as it is, it's just a bit too tall. Well, it's absolutely covering me in sawdust, but it's come off nice and clean. I'm not gonna lie, I was really worried about that. Um, with the errors that I've had so far, I didn't know how that was gonna work out. Overall, quite pleased there. Just need some tidying up now with some sandpaper, and then I'll get on to putting the finishing touches on. Also, the good part is, seems to have given me a picture frame. Lucky lady, might be getting two presents this year. Might I just solve what I'm going to put on the edging. Add this piece of oak engineered flooring. Put it through planer. Cleaned it up quite nice. I think that'll look really good. Right, I've managed now to get three really thin strips. And I'll put them back through planer. On top of another piece of wood because they were that thin that my planer didn't go that low. So let's see how these get on. Crikey, putting this detailed bit on this box is gonna kill me. I've got seven little strips between the base of this one and the lid. I've even had to resort to a bit of masking tape. I've run out of clamps that fit. I think I've got three, four, five there, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven clamps in total, holding seven bits of wood on. Unbelievable. Now it's time for one final sand, first with the orbital, then by hand, before marking out and screwing in the feet. So to hold the lid on, I'm going to make some little inserts. This is the reverse of the lid. I've just marked out where my corner points are inside the box. I've made these little pieces that should just sit at right angles to each other in the corner. So when you slide the lid on top, it should just hold it in place. So I say. Once all the pieces are in play, it's a quick dab of CA and glue, activator and pushing them back on top of the pencil lines. So we've got the top of the box here. I've made this sort of like little thing to be a handle so i'm just going to find where the center is mark that um, and then come back and just glue this on and then that's about it for this box it'll just need finishing uh i've got some polyurethane on order should come tomorrow i think and um, we'll get to finishing it there we go all ready for finishing now the handle works which is always a bonus it's not snapped off happy with that just as I got on to finishing this box, the weather broke and we got a bit of unexpected sunshine. So I'm well chuffed to be able to get outside into the garden and just get this completed out with a nice bit of sun on my back. And here we are, the finished article. Not turned out too badly, everything's sanded up nicely. The trim's come up, I think it gives it a nice little bit of detail. It comes off nice and easy back on, off again easy, it's got this nice little tray inside, fit some more little bits and pieces and again some further dividers inside just to give it sort of six compartments all together, it's deep enough to fit sort of a, a watch box or something like that in, I don't think it's gone too bad in the end given the problems at the start, I just hope the next project isn't half as stressful as this one's been, cheers!